Please now for February 7th. Yes, man, I am the Goat Goat Goatee Flag IDC. Hey, man, last time uh, our partner came in here, I think, oh, well, actually, my bad. The first time he had, we had him come in here. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to believe it was one of his first radio interviews in 2017. April to be exact. Um, he's been doing marvelous things. Absolutely. I've been seeing him all the way up, killing shows out of town. Uh, I would like to say... <coughs> He's le he's the leader he's the leader of Atlanta right now as far as music of the new school agreed. I'm just saying music in general. Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not just saying that because he's in the room. I'm just saying that because that's what I believe. Album drops this Friday, right? Absolutely uh, right. Go ahead, DC, take it away. Well, first and foremost, introduce yourself to the city of Atlanta and everybody that's listening online, just everywhere. Atlanta online, everywhere she was, baby. Hey. Atlanta, Georgia, representative, live and direct. And before we get started, I just want to thank both of you for coming to me. Fly, Ferrari, for just rocking with me from the get go. You know what I'm saying? Like, going hard for you. Like, yeah, going hard for you. Like, just off the screen. Just, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to appreciate y'all for that. It's a nice problem, man. Going in the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping going. Goddamn. Like, it's really like all about 10 times. Yeah, like that. Definitely, most definitely. I appreciate that. Like, more than words can explain. Absolutely, man. Let's uh, let's just take it back a little bit. 2017, um, you first came here. Uh, everybody know the story. You didn't want to be an artist. P was P and Thug and all them like, yo, stay in the studio. How has your life changed from 2017 until now? It's so crazy because every day my life changed so dramatically, like to the point where I can't even keep up with it. Like, 2017, I, I I can't even remember. I can remember the first time I came out here. Came in as the first, cause it's like first radio station I ever been to. Mm -hmm. I was like my first music man. Like I just, I, I, so I remember all that. But like far as where my mind was at mm -hmm. at that time, like I can't even remember. Like, cause I didn't have to be so sharp in my mind now. Like I, I can't even remember. Like, like how? Like I be trying to see, bro. Like how would I really react? Really mm -hmm. In 2017, if this would happen, like, I can't even tell you, like honestly, like how I would it? Well, I, I can't even remember, like how I would have played it then, because now my mind so on how I gotta play it now, like that's how I play it. Like, I can't even think like that. Then. So, but I know for a fact, like my whole mindset changed from 2017 to now, from like me being my mind being trapped in Atlanta, mm -hmm. like. Being trapped in the streets, being trapped in a real trap, like my mind has seen so many places. I've been through so much stuff, so it's like I'm totally a whole different person. Mm -hmm. Like on, on the aspect of my mind and how I think and how I view things, and not just like me as a person, like the same me, but as far as my mind and aspect of thing, like a whole different person. Ooh, super aspect. super dope. Um, and I remember when you first came in, like. The, the way you just articulate your words now is, is just totally different. Like, your interview presence is totally different, so I commend you on that. Um, let's talk a little bit about 4PF. Um, yeah, I recently saw... Day. Make sure you uh, circle back now, bro. Mm -hmm. All up That's what I tell you. So, uh, I recently uh, saw right. the other day, Rallo. Um, super, super dope. He got his chain. Now, I know he's been around for a minute right. um, and been a part of the campaign. Yes, um, let's just touch on everybody who's who's with you right now under that umbrella of 4PF. All right, I got um, Dirty Tape. He was making his tape way big on though. I got Rollo. Rodriguez. He's his tape gift to the streets. I know it gives me going in uniform. He's like G.I.H.S. And I got Lula. Like I got Lula 05 Lula. Just dropped a little tape. Oh, okay. And then I got Four Hearted Savage for DT. Then I got a, um, a, joint, a joint situation with O2 Dub where you got it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I'm seeing that. I'm not going to forget about that. So, for right now, I'm like the main. Like, the so, so, what does it take for an artist to catch? Little baby's eye, and, and to be even on that 4PF radar. What are you looking for if you were to sign more artists? I'm actually looking for like, cause I, cause I, I hate to regret. I, I, I regret signing someone, and then regret it. I hate to sign someone and regret. It. Mm -hmm. So before I do that, I rather just like 
fuck with him, like, or, or like, chill with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I try to vibe with him and stuff. Like, but what it's gonna take you, you just gotta be hard, and you can't just be hard at me. Like, all of us gotta agree. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, all of us, like, the bros, the whoever I'm around, like, because I play my music, you know, I'm around different people, so I, I wanna see their reaction, their reaction, their reaction. I'm looking at everybody's reaction. I get about that same reaction from everybody, okay, you might got something going, but I just feel like I play with somebody and I got like street A&Rs around me, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I just, even because with my music, like, they ain't really feeling it in it, like, because there's the music people who gonna listen to and stuff, because I know my mind can get kind of clouded sometimes, so I can think something hot and ain't really it. I, I ain't really got to that point because I'm kind of beyond it, like, be hard, like, or that's hard, like. So basically just if you are and then you got a little swag and it could fit with us, it gotta be able to fit with us though for right now. So before before there was anybody added underneath the the, the umbrella of 4PF, who else made those like because I know you just said that like you had to be in a room with other people, of course street general boost, but was there anybody else that helped make those decisions to to have you to sign those artists? All right, let's see it, my man, let's see it. Say it, that's the homie. Say it definitely like so we like, need to sign him, but like say more on the I don't like, but we just sign these people. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really too tell care about it, honey. Mm-hmm. Like, to sign new artists. Because I'm an artist, I don't really focus on myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really on the internet looking for a new artist. Because mm-hmm. I, cause I, I'm, I still got space to do what I need to do. Right. But if one of the bro, even the little bros, if they bring it to my attention, like, check this person out or something, and I, and I see who can set it up, like, I'm with it, though. I'm, I'm definitely with it. But just far as me on my... Just looking for artists and stuff, I ain't on it. Okay. I come across it, I shoot you a DM, see if you got someone. If you don't, then maybe we can sit down and put something together. Okay. Speaking, you said they and them, so are, are you opening to Are you open to do female artists? Right. Okay. Well, I'm open to do anything, but right now I feel like they just got to fit because I'm trying to put the face on it. Okay. And once I put the face on it, I'll be open to signing up just to be with, without, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. You know, it ain't gonna be like right now. We like 4 p.m. to the point where it's like it go with the street. You gotta be almost mm-hmm. street. Mm-hmm. You gotta, like so. Mm-hmm. That's just mm-hmm. like what it is like right now. But as the time keeps going, I like I just turn into a real business. Yeah, see Now go back to 2017 real quick. Um, and and I'm gonna keep touching on that because I mean you've been busy. We haven't had you back up here since then. But um, I remember us getting a text message from P. Um, and it, it was a it was a song called Grinding right. um, that you first had put out when you came up here. That was the one we pushed on the radio, um, the one we first played. And then um, maybe like a couple of days later, we got another text with my dog and, and myself. And I was like, Pete, that's the one right there. Right. How did you feel or, or, or what was your thought process when my dog started to take off? See, but before it took, all right, when I first started rapping, like Grinding, all them, it was cool, but I was telling them, like, I don't feel these. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even really want to perform these. Like, mm-hmm. these ain't me. Like, they ain't the swag how I want to deliver it. You know what I'm saying? Then when my dog came out, like, literally that night, I was telling the bro, like, this the one. Mm-hmm. Like, not even knowing the one, like, what the one is. And, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, but oh, this the one, because I feel like this the one I can perform, I can rap to, I can ride to. Like, I went. Bro, when options, you remember my first time options, when they used to come on, I used to really be like embarrassed, like like a nervous, yeah. like ain't really, you know, really my swag. But like my dog, I'm like ready to perform it, like I'm, I'm ready for him to play it, like I'm telling the DJ, like play this song. Like that was really the first song I even wanted to just get played in the club or anything. Like so other like, songs, I ain't even, because I wasn't feeling them, so I ain't even respect the club to feel it. So with like, you feeling my dog, did that influence you to go even harder to be like, yeah, I can do this, I need to do this? Right, and that's why I give my artists the leeway to do what they want to do. Because uh-huh. I know once you feel this song, and like, if it's, if it's dead and you feel it, it can go. Like, if, it's, if it ain't dead and you feel it, it still might go. But if it's dead and you feel it, like, I can't tell my one of my artists, DC, and he don't feel like that. We're going to have to both agree on that, because he got to go hard as I go. I got a question. Um, and just because I've been on the road and seeing things, I remember seeing you in Detroit. Um, do you know how powerful you are right now? No. I don't think you understand. You're very big. And the good thing about you is uh, Atlanta rallies behind you. So it's kind of like, 
and we need you to win too. Because yes, you're gonna big for you're gonna catapult the city and make Atlanta still be number one in what we do. But I just wanted to let you know you're extremely powerful. What you say, damn near go. Right. Like what you do, damn near like is really go. Right. Anything you drop, it don't matter. You got the kids, you got the adults, you got the gangsters, you got the nerds, you got suburbs, you got the hood, you got everything. Mm -hmm. Just want to tell you. <clears throat> now, now to to piggyback off of that. Oh. I've never seen yeah, that never seen side of before. Like, I've never in my you did the city video. of 2017. I've never right. seen like seeing you in the clubs, concerts. I've never <clears throat> seen the silly side, the fun side of you. What made you take that route on Whoa? Right. Because you kind of started lingo, a trend. The lingo, like we already be saying Whoa almost like yeah, or like an A or a yo like rapping. Mm -hmm. So I. I be just, I might just go in, right? Mm -hmm. I might just go in on the song, and then just leave it. Like, just say like I might go in, like last song before I do, I might just do like a, a hook. I mean, mm -hmm. I like a hook, like a first verse or something. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. But at the end of the first verse, I just was like, whoa, and that was the end. But me and Jada started listening to it in the car, and then she like did the whoa dance. I don't even, like, yeah. I don't want to own it. You know what I'm saying? And she like, whoa, and I was like, she, every time I come on that part, she like I always just whoa. Like we both say whoa together. She got me saying, so I'm like I'm gonna make this song the hook part like whoa. Did you know it was a dance to that? She showed me. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so how did you feel doing the TikTok? Cause it, it seemed like it was out of your element, but you was like like you still had you fun still, doing. You, you yeah, it. yeah, I just made it fun. Like, <laughs> but you see, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so no more. Like I mean, I will, but it ain't. It's, it was just like that space I was in at okay. that time. No, I'm you. like, this the song, we like gotta go with this. And the time so was, was right. The time was right like for me to do it. Like, I, I, I barely don't even wore my shows, mm -hmm. like when I perform it, because I really ain't no dancing. So no, I, like, I, I let people come off stage, they let them go, whatever, whatever. That's another thing I would love to commend you on. From 2017, seeing your shows now, it's totally different. Like, you actually have a show. You actually look like you enjoy giving the fans what they want. So that's another thing I want to commend you on. Um, and and just the the touch. How's how's the baby first and foremost? Yeah, just had a baby birthday. Yeah, how's that? Great birthday, great birthday party. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get more attached to my kids. Like, the more older I get, I got mm -hmm. two kids. Like the more older I get, like the more young fans do, to be one with them. Like my life ain't as fast no more. Mm -hmm. like, even though it's faster. But it ain't fast doing other shit. Like, mm -hmm. so he, I be having a lot of time when I don't got nothing to do. Like, for like three hours, just say like three hours of the day, I can really sit in the house when I'm used to never sitting in the house. Like, yeah. as soon as I wake up, I'm going to like take a shower when I go. Like, now it, it, I might not have to be nowhere till like six, so I ain't going to leave out the house till six. Mm -hmm. So, versus when I used to just, when I wake up, there's something going on in the street. Like, I'm, as soon as I wake up, I'm out the house. Never a day I can remember. Just sitting in the house, like whole days and shit. Like now I can not come out for two days. I've been gone for seven days. Mm -hmm. Come home, I can sit with my kids for two straight days, or go get my little boy bracelet when I'm in the street. It's just like everyday run thing. Like you know, I care about my kids. I'm trying to be there, but then they got a whole excuse. I'm in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I really ain't got time. But the schedule way way off. Person now, even though I don't got time, my schedule off. The time when I do have time, it. It's different. So how's the relationship with, with your, your two kids? Like, my, 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 my four-year-old son, like, I'm like Superman, you know, whatever you look know, like, anything, everything, like, like his best friend out of, like, my one-year-old, he's, like, he didn't start saying, Dad, they call me, like, when I ain't around, type of shit. So I feel like, my, again, just by me being who I am anyway, mm -hmm. that's, like, the best thing that could happen to me, I feel, for my kids, because, like, other people's kids look at me like Superman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, by them, like, like, <laughs> like, by them telling my kid, like, you little baby son, like, that's Jason, he know he almost a celebrity. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a little baby son. He know that. He <laughs> know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a little baby son. Like, like, now, their relationship towards each other, how's the bonding experiences like, with them? Because like, I seen, like, Christmas, like, everybody was at, at the crib. Right, and, like, Jason, and then he so, like, like me, even my friends. It, 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 this one of the bros who I really mess with, like Jason mess with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's so attached to me to the point where 
as I explained to him that this your little brother, like, this my kid, like, he automatically, like, this my little brother, like, when we talk and have conversations, he and his little brother, like, I don't know if I'm telling him, like, I'm taking you, ooh, ooh, then he's like, what about lawyer? Or like, yeah, yeah, lawyer, my little brother got it, like, he, he put me on it, like, really? man, like, it's crazy, crazy, like, but he definitely, I'm, man, old oh, man, so solo, what up? Okay, little baby, you ready for some real talk right now? <laughs> ready. You ready? Okay. Now, your career is very new. We talked about how new of an artist you are and how you've been taking it in. You already have a net worth of four million dollars. Oh, that's wrong. That's what I oh, saw. What, what is it? What is it, Pete? What is it? I said, oh, that's wrong. What's the net worth? <laughs> I said, oh, that's wrong. Man, the boy told you. <laughs> man, that's right. What is it? <laughs> it's right. It's right. Oh, okay. Because if it's a little more, let me know. But with the hey, net But the crazy thing about it, they've been on there for like 2014. <laughs> so, it's, so it's higher. Right, so 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 what is it? Can can we can we get an update? No, no, let's not do that because then they're, they're gonna have to update it. And we, don't, we may have some tenses that we don't want to do. <laughs> oh no, no we, go, we, we, we go, 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 Oh, wow. They've been saying four million since like when I first they first made me one. It just said four million. Wow. No, you usually they go into assets. So the universe is manifesting that for you. So they spoke it into existence for you. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, I'm just saying. Four million dollars. Four million dollars. Four going from one end of the spectrum to the next. You go from having like your regular life and, and enjoying your day-to-day -day routine to now being a millionaire who is completely loved and adored in this industry. How do you not let it get to your head? The crazy thing about it, I've been rehearsing for a long time now. So like, what I mean by rehearsing, like, I've been kind of like, had that going on to a certain extent. I had to watch myself in Atlanta, people know me. So like now it's almost the same thing, but on a, a better level almost, like, like a bigger, better level almost. Like, but it's just me being a little dope boy and I don't know what it was now. And now I'm like a rapper and I don't know what it was So it's like, you know where I go to somebody, I don't know. That responsibility changes from, you know, being in the streets to being in this industry. Do you find that to be kind of like a hard transition? For me, I don't find it hard at all because I'm using the same skill. That's what I was saying. Like, as far as I already had to watch my back. I right. already had to make sure no cars ain't following me. I already had to watch people how when they walk up on me. Like, I was doing that before I had, before I was a rapper. So now that I got fans and now that I got this and that going on, it's like the same thing. So I know not to trust people. I've been here more than the average, so I know I've been a target. So I, I always watch people, like even now, so it's like the same thing like I've been rushing forever. But now you have those corporate thugs that are at you now. That's that's a little bit different from, from what you may have experienced in the street. So, right. yeah, but uh, I know that you're on the remix to uh, Life is Good. Right. Now, who do you think has a better verse? You, Drake, Future, or the baby? <laughs> <laughs> now that you are on the remix, who has a better verse? It's crazy, right? Cause I really would have rather Future put me on the other part. Mm. Like that was that's my swag. I like on that. which part? I like I like I be listening to it. The I just listen to Future part. I don't, I ain't gonna say who got the best verse, cause but it's like the flow. I, I like the first part better than the part I'm on. Oh. Yeah, okay. Drake's part. Yeah, so, yeah so like Drake's part. part. The, okay. the, the, the the early beat. Yeah, the early part. Okay. Heaven, the my text is on two Okay. Now, I would have rather been on that part. That's fair. I'll, okay, that's, that's fair. Like. Have you done your text? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even gotta do them no more. Okay, he got people taking care of that. Now the current video to Life Is Good is actually really, really good. So do you guys plan on coming out of the remix video? I doubt it. Cause it'll be like trying to top that video. And that video was already like, so I don't see that. It I went, think that was so bad. big. It went so big with that video. It's like I don't think they'll even try to make. It. Only way I see, and then I don't think this the remix was bigger than the um, first song. So I don't see them making a video. Got it. I, I think a remix video could be could actually help take yeah, that song to the next level. Yeah, it sounded like the day before they put it out. 
Now we see that you and Future are collaborating a lot more. Right. Um, what are some things uh, by you being so young in the game as far as the industry? Um, what are some things you've learned from him? So crazy, I learned a lot from him being an artist. But as a person, we don't talk now time. We don't even talk. Are you serious? We just I pull up on him. We do whatever we do, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to do it, but we don't need to talk. Like, we don't need to talk. But just from me watching him, I learned a lot, though. Mm -hmm. okay. just from, before I was a rapper, just hearing and he been like, when I first met him, like, like it would be a lot of little, like, bullshit going on and mm -hmm. so it'd be like, kind of like, then I know how a lot of, like, young rappers are coming in the game, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, Especially who start being a little buzz and they're going to act like they, you know what I'm saying? Like, but like when I first met him, like, I see him in LA by himself one time. I just push up on him. I said, like, I fuck with you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a, on a different note, like, before I was a rapper type, mm -hmm. like, okay. also, like, okay. you Atlanta to me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, mm -hmm. goddamn, like, you, you, you. You somebody to me, like yeah. don't think I'm on. I like, ain't on a rap shit, period. Like, so, 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 and I don't mean to cut you off. Do you think? Because it's the same thing to go back to what Ferrari said. Is like you're Atlanta right now. Right. Do you think the youngins that are coming up to you now are feeling the same way you felt about Future nah, as far as the artist? About me. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's about you though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So how do you take that if 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 he took it a certain way? If that makes any sense. Right, so that's why I would come <laughs> that way. It's like, I don't want to be that in that spot because one day I'm going to be older mm -hmm. and it's going to be a new younger and they're going to be looking up to him. Like, mm -hmm. I used to, I, people used to look up to me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I kind of, I'm like seeing stuff for unfold, so I already like know how to handle certain situations. Okay. I know better than just be on some other shit. Now, we know you got you to get out of this soon. We will wrap this up in a second, but I have a question. Uh, sure. What's the most annoying thing that you have to deal with? Cause I know you can get a little cranky. Twitter. Phone probably going crazy all day. Every day got changed the number every three weeks. I ain't gonna lie, I'm at this stage in my life that I'm, I'm kind of getting over the stage where I've been angry a lot lately. Cause like, once you once you get to a level and you got so much going on, you got these people calling you, got these people becoming like stressful. Yeah. And then once I get stressed out and shit, I'm just used to you know shutting down. Being aggressive, like, <laughs> I ain't never stressed unless I was a kid. And then it's just like, I want to fight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we going back and forth. It's like, but you can't fight now, though. Yeah, ain't even nothing to fight about. Like, nobody <laughs> I want to go back and forth. It's like, but I don't, I, like, first thing I think about any problem is acknowledging the problem. So I, I started telling myself, I got a problem with that, like, keeping my temper down. Like, lately I've been just mad at people like it could be this, it could be that, like I'm just wrong, nigga. Like I start start telling myself like what I wanted to say and then I, I tell the person like I really wanna say such and such. But you know what? Damn I still tell them what I wanted to say. Like <laughs> and I just say it the right way. Like but this time I'm gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just So like, so what calms little baby's aggression now? Like if you're mad the next thing okay. I can't be mad at you and him. Cause I got too much going on. Okay. Right. So once I blow on you, and I'm back cool, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> never know, man. You just got into it type shit. Cause I got too much shit going on. I can't be beefing. I want my girl and beef with, bring it home. I can't be beefing with bro, and then bring it home. I can't be beefing with him, and then be home. mad at him like so. Cause I got so many people around me. It's like I only get, and then I don't got, I don't got no feelings really. Like whatever man you get into it with. We gonna be, it's gonna be over with today. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow, I ain't really too tough trying to be on what we was on yesterday. Now, yeah. like you feel what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't got nothing to say about you. Like whatever we argue about, that's all I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Right then and there, yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about shit you did two years ago. Shit you been doing, <clears throat> I ain't on that. Cause that's it, yeah, if it's that, if it was that, I'd be on that. Like when it happened. So like, we arguing about a computer. The only thing I'm saying is the computer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. I with the microphone. Nothing. So then when it's over with the computer, I expect tomorrow to not be on it. Because I ain't 
Yeah. Ain't got it on me. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> been in the been in the game only uh, almost three years right now. Like cool three. Yeah. So it's very rare that you find an artist who can get a, a song on a track list of a major major movie. Right. How did that feel? Yeah, Cause you still doing things for the first time, still. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like it's like, still like, new like, to you. Right, right. So, like, has that even hit you yet? Nah, see, like, like, you know, Phil, I'm one of those people where it's like, I don't want to notice it until it's like, that ain't good enough. Like, not on no, no, not being grateful shit. Like, it's good enough for sure. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but until, I don't feel like it's good enough until like. My song in the movie, like in the movie, mm -hmm. like the movie soundtrack. Oh. Like, but then I like, okay, I can come be that. Like I'm on one of them. I'm, like even now with what I got going on, I don't feel like where well, I want to be at. Like, I mean, but how much bigger can you? I never had a number one Billboard song. Mm -hmm. I need that. Mm -hmm. I ain't even had a number one Billboard album yet. Mm -hmm. I need that. Okay. Yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. them two for now, just with my head. Like I need okay. them. Like, it's, it's, like, it's, how big you is? I'm like, nah. I know I ain't that big yet. Shit, nah. I need one. Like, it's it's still stuff I know for a fact that I don't got. got so I don't even gonna put it in my head. Like, and then when you big. accomplish that, you'll be looking for the next one. Yeah, like, yeah, or something. Now, there's mm -hmm. there, there's been a lot of speculation. Uh, I know I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it on uh, Instagram and blogs. What is up with you buying the West End? Is that true? Is that yeah, I actually had it. That's okay. Come on, right. come on with it. Come on. Yeah. Everybody on the internet went to, like, I bought the West End. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I even thought that you bought it. Yeah, had nothing to do with it. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just the move, right? Okay, so by everybody posting this and stuff, whatever, whatever, the people actually reached out to me. You got them all. <laughs> so, go on, I fly to LA, have a meeting with them, whatever, whatever. They give me the whole rundown and let me know whatever. So, now I actually invested in West End Mall. So, you uh, actually. I just cost 400 million. Uh -huh. So, I wouldn't have been able to buy it by myself. It okay. cost me $48 million to buy, and the project where they got 400 million. They mm -hmm. just needed to put up 48 million to get the 400 million mm -hmm. alone. So, I'm part of the 48 million dollars to. So do you do have right. some percentage type of percentage of the West End Mall? Smart man. How the hell the, does that feel? That's what I'm saying. Smart I man. I got that from like the city I already been just posting that. I don't know who made it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and the, the, the first tweet I seen, it had like 100K retweets. Yeah, like, 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 on it. Like, well, baby, you got, but I started the yeah, almost yeah. 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 <laughs> You'd be surprised, like real like people DM me like, you gotta understand, like, like, but they proud and like, like, if, if, if they said something, I ain't, I ain't respond back, like, no. But they asked me, like, people I know, mm -hmm. nah, like, hell, nah, like, hell, nah, that ain't true. But like, other folks, like, I'm very proud of you, like, ooh, what, what, what? That's major. And it ended up turning cool. into an opportunity. But it ended up turning to, like, that's really what it is. And then, like, the bigger I get, I got an opportunity to do like, whatever I want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, See, but if I had the forty-eight million dollars. Like, I know the people now, like, and I'm in a position to, I, if I wanted to, I could own the West End Mall. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't even about the money, really. Like, if I had the money, I wouldn't even know what to do to go, like, just from that. And then, like, hip hop, hip hop is definitely, like, the face of, like, a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just the fact that them seeing that I had that much presence on the social media, they was interested in letting me be a part of whatever they got going on and these is like so 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 people you don't even think listen to rap music well they listening boy yeah. you get what i'm saying like like some old other type of people you don't even <laughs> imagine like, <laughs> you would be in a meeting with you get what i'm saying yeah. like, so wikipedia yeah. manifested your net worth and yeah. social media manifested your your yeah. investment into the west end that is, this at this point i'm like it's me like, stuff be happening like I don't want to be like, how? Or, man, I'm taking like, this is what's going on. Because mm -hmm. so, right. I break my brain trying to be like, hey, hey, I, I got one more question. This is just my last question. I ain't rushing y'all. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. How does Lil Baby deal with cutting friends off? Because I know from the it's time easy. we first met you to now. It's easy. That's why I'm so How excited. easy is it? Tell so us. When I cut your ass off, you don't need trip. You know, I hope you don't go against it. Like, I do so much. So when I cut you off, bro, you dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. 
you you gonna you gonna respect me coming out there. All right, cool. We go from there, but. But I be doing so much before I cut you off. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know you feel me. You it's cut. Chance. You now, had you did. did you have to do that? I ain't had to do that. I just mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. how it worked out. Like I cut a lot of people off too. Not not even not even like you know like uh, altercation cut off with mm -hmm. uh, okay. like slowly but surely. Like you know we ain't getting new numbers. You know what I'm saying? Get slimmer and slimmer every time I change my number. You get my number, then everybody already know don't get my number out. Yeah. Like, that's my cutout. But when I see you, it's love, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Whatever, whatever, but you don't got the essence to be calling me on your own will. Yeah. Then, on social media, right, I ain't never unfollowed nobody while I was already following. So, 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 like, it's like 911 emergency, you can DM me, I see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, so, right. I ain't just. But you know when you cut off though. Really, you know when you cut off. You know I like to call that protecting your space and your energy. Like right. when I see you, it's love, but you don't need to be calling me. I don't. Right. I don't need to have this type of relationship with you. Right. Now, um, let's talk to Alvin. Yeah, I, li I like the track list. I see you got Wayne, Wayne on there. Uh, I saw that was a big deal for you, you okay. being on his project. Okay. A lot of the younger generation ain't on that. Mm -hmm. like yeah. the way, but like I caught it. I got it. I'm the younger generation, but I still caught like I was on yeah. the porch room and like Wayne yeah. mm -hmm. was that nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like Wayne, 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 Wayne. So to me, it was like he still Wayne, 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 Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't, I ain't grow up on the five years when he didn't drop out. Like I was on him before he gave him five years. So mm -hmm. it's all. You know, Wayne don't be paying attention, so the oh, fact yeah. that he knew who you was. Right. It's <laughs> all that. Like, the yeah. fact that I know that he wanted her once, Wayne on me. And the yeah. fact that he, like, real told me I'm, like, one of his favorite people in that room. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm sitting looking at the track list of 20 songs. Is that because, be like, is that because... Um, Most 20 song albums be some bullshit too. He just put it out there. I like that. I so, like that. So, so now, is it 20 because you haven't dropped the body of work in a right. long time? Right. And and the city and the world has been waiting? Right. So, this 20 ain't no bullshit. No bullshit. Now, I see Gunners up here. Yeah. Uh, 42. Yeah. That's, that's the homie Future. Yeah. Uzi. Yeah. What no was lie. the what what was no the lie. mindset of these songs? Like, what was the mindset of going in the studio and and recording this 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 album? And that's when I do too, like, right? Okay, I had it in my head my time, but I didn't have a date. When I don't have a date, they help me out a lot because mm -hmm. I don't got no pressure. So like, mm -hmm. but I started having pressure kind of because I'm like I gotta go and drop. But, but it wasn't the pressure of, like, I got to drop, but it was like, it's time for me to drop, you know. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that pressure of, oh, you got to drop, it got to be the one. And, like, I ain't really had no pressure, so I kind of recorded with ease. And before I gave them a date, I wanted to make sure I had my, I, I was finished with it. So I was finished with that. I, I, it's been a whole year. But the crazy thing, like, let's say I ain't dropped music in a year, right? Mm -hmm. But these songs is only from the last two, three months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't got that. The old songs yeah, from, from like 18. These years. new songs, like majority of these songs is from two, three, from in the past two, three months. What about the beats? How the how? beats might be old. Mm -hmm. Cause, mm -hmm. but I make the same as like, nigga told me, I ain't know. He, I seen one of my, in, one of my um, producers, he had a little interview and he was like, Man, I send baby the same beats every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like something to prove. He said, I sent something to prove to baby four times. And it's just he said, like, I sent one this time. He like, baby, send me some beats. Uh, he like, you know, I add my new ones, but I send him the same beats every time. And he like, some days he just pick it. But he really liked that. Because okay. I can listen to these beats today and don't like, man, one of them. And then tomorrow, the same beats, I'll pick one and make it hit. So okay. It has to fit the zone that you're in that day. You got to fit the zone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, 20 songs, top three, Damn. and why? Right. Well, when people be saying 20 songs, I already cut them down, right? So I'm like, 17, 17 songs, because three of them are already out. Already out, agreed. Okay. So yeah. like 17, 17 songs, okay. Right. 17, 17 songs. songs. Right. Three of them are already out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like so well, well, it's something to prove. Something to prove. Uh -huh. So I, don't even count, I ain't even counting them, because they already out and shit. Mm -hmm. 
So out of 17 songs, top three. Well, 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 before top three, what song means the most to you yeah, and why? The most to me, Scott. Now, what's, what, what, what's he said emotionally, emotionally scarred. scarred. That's emotionally number eight. Scarred? Okay. Now, can you tell us, uh, can you go inside that song right yeah. now? Uh, and, and, and tell us, like, like what's the background of it? I got Why? I got like, pay cash and need post secure. I can't show nobody what my mama live. That's how I post it live. Like, that's one of them bars where it's just, like, anybody body in my house, like, now, they're really coming up with it. On the ground with it, but I feel like I can't show nobody where my mama live at. Like, but I want to be living like that. Like, where my where my mom got a high when she lived there. Like, that means I made it. Like, mom, we made it. You feel me? Like, first, like, your mama stay on open drive. You know, like, mm -hmm. know where your mama stay at. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so is the emotionally scarred song strictly about mom? Nah, it's or about does everything. it correlate like, to it, to the I kids, went, like, to the way, Jada, from kids to girl? Not even just Jada. I, mean, I was in one of those spots where I was like, we were talking about a girl from like years and years ago. It's just yeah. now, I don't even know what. It's just running them over. Speaking of that, and I know. We not the gossipy type, but you're a fan. There's been a lot of rumble on social media with a bunch of females and, and Jada. How, how is that, how is you in her space right now? See, and that's why I be trying to like explain to people, like our space kind of bigger than the internet. So Thanks. even whatever going on on the internet, we got a real household. So right. like that shit don't mean be real down there. Like how we gonna be if we live here? Like, yeah. like on internet beefing and she shit. downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with a, with a net worth of four million. I know the ladies are all. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> saying, like, they looking at him like, okay, Baby, so you he, gotta he have just got the game. Man. He got a lot of money. He might be an easy target. They they look at these new artists like they're easy targets. Right. Now, they are not you though. Me too. But oh, okay. That's what like come with it though. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna be, but it's a way to do everything. Like, well, for me, I think I'll be having my situation the best way possible. Like, I mean, it was just out here. Yeah, no, your replies. Your replies. Your replies. Your replies was, I was just like, Classic. okay, like, like you can see the maturity. Like 2017, baby, would have probably joined the conversation, okay. added. Had somebody pull up, all the extra yeah, stuff. Yeah, not add it, had somebody pull up. That's, the show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> had somebody pull up and, and handle the business. Yeah, like, I even had people hit me, like, I'm like, nah. It ain't even worth it. I ain't on that. You feel me? Like, that's growth, bro. You're bigger than that now. You're yeah, we yeah, proud of you, man. We definitely proud of you seeing the growth from oh, you. Just happy for you, man. Can't wait till Friday or Thursday night. Yeah, now, uh, top three outside of Emotionally Scarred. So that leaves 16 songs now. So, uh, he up with Donna. Mm hmm. Just is, that, is that for the clubs? Clubs for sure. Okay. Okay. And just because me and Gunn got here, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And he didn't grow as an artist too. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. as a person, as a. So it's like a new baby in Gunner, but like. So, so. <clears throat> then in my head, I always think, if you like it, this, you're going to love this. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's the only a, a better version of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like. A better version of Drip Too Hard. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like a newer version. Okay. Shit like that. So that's one. one. Uh, um, song with Folks Who Do. Grace. Grace. It's just, it's just a different vibe for me. So I don't know what it's about that song. I like that song. Okay. Our last one. One more. And I It's hard though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. It's, it's talking to a, it's more of a, a female song. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't. But emotionally, Scar might be a, 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 a close friend vibe. Like, it's one of them, like, take you everywhere. If you want, if you want to catch that part out of it. Well, man, we appreciate you. No, love, love Proud of you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always love. The growth is amazing, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. And I mean, we always support and we always got your back just like we were. Thank you for coming too. And spending damn near an hour in here with us. I know you ain't been there nowhere. For sure. I'm for y'all, most definitely. Thank you, brother. Salute, man. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that dollar. She's number five.